India is a land with an ancient soul. But a modern heartbeat. From ancient times, India has made extraordinary contributions in the field of architecture, astronomy, cartography, metallurgy, logic, mathematics, medicine and many other disciplines. India gave to the world the nine-digit numeral system and the concept of zero, without which the binary system would not exist and we would not have computers today. However, there is another discipline that originated in India and is well known to the modern world. That is Yoga. Yoga acquired a new dimension when in December 2014, the United Nations declared June 21st to be celebrated every year as the International Day of Yoga. But yoga did not begin on June 21st. It began centuries ago. Yoga has transcended time and boundaries. This 5,000-year-old discipline was brought to the shores of the Western world in the late 19th century. Swami Vivekananda, hailed as one of the first yoga pioneers, traveled to the United States and England and first introduced the Western world to the practice of yoga. By the early 20th century, the physical and physiological benefits of yoga gained more attention in the West when Paramahamsa Yogananda came to Boston in 1920 to address a conference on religious liberals. With a heightened interest in spiritual and holistic practices of the East, in the 1930s, students from the West began traveling to India to learn and practice yoga. Sri Aurobindo's ashram in Pondicherry became one of the popular destinations for seekers of yoga and spirituality. Modern yoga perhaps got its greatest traction and popularity through Tirumalai Krishnamacharya, often referred to as the father of modern yoga, who emerged as a potent force in yoga worldwide. He influenced a generation of yoga teachers like TKV Desikachar, Indra Devi, Patabi Joyce and the most famous of all, BKS Iyengar. Yoga had found its way in the daily lives of millions of people around the world. In its dissemination across the world over the last 150 years and thanks to the contributions of yoga pioneers, and contemporary yoga gurus like Gurani Anjali, Yogi Sunita, Krishnamacharya, Joyce, Ayangar, Jagi Vasudev, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and Baba Ramdev to name a few. Yoga as we know today has undergone significant transformation from the 5,000 year old ancient discipline of the sages. Yoga is practiced today by millions of people around the world. If we manage to transmit and impart even simple steps of yoga to the entire citizenry on this planet, we can bring down the ailments that human beings are suffering right now at least by twenty-five to thirty percent within a matter of next ten years. This will be a huge step in terms of physical, psychological and the inner well-being of every human being. Realizing the virtues and holistic benefits of yoga for all mankind, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, 
in his address to the 69th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York in September 2014, proposed that the world should start celebrating an International Day of Yoga. Yoga हमारी पुरातन पारंपरिक अमूल्य देन है योग मन व शरीर विचार व कर्म संयम व उपलब्धि की एकात्मता का तथा मानव व प्रकृति के बीच सामंजस्य का मूर्त रूप है यह स्वास्थ्य व कल्याण का समग्र दृष्टिकोण है योग केवल व्यायाम भर न होकर अपने आप से तथा विश्व व प्रकृति के साथ तादादमय को प्राप्त करने का माध्यम है यह हमारी जीवन शैली में परिवर्तन लाकर तथा हम में जागरूकता उत्पन्न करके जलवायु परिवर्तन से लड़ने में सहायक हो सकता है आइए हम एक अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस को आरंभ करने की दिशा में कार्य करें मेंबर कंट्रीज ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस सपोर्टेड दिस कॉल एंड द यूएन प्रोक्लेम्ड जून 21st एज द इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा यूएन सेक्रेटरी जनरल बैन की मून ऑब्जर्वड दैट बाय प्रोक्लेमिंग 21st जून एज द इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा the general assembly has recognized the holistic benefits of this timeless practice and its inherent compatibility with the principles and values of the united nations there was special significance in choosing june 21st as the international day of yoga the summer solstice falls on 20th to 21st june when the rays of the sun directly strike one of the two tropical latitude lines june 21st being the longest day of the year marks the beginning of summer in the northern hemisphere and heralds the beginning of winter in the southern hemisphere 21st june is known as the summer solstice or the planet's relationship with the sun shifts from northern run to the southern run which is traditionally known as dakshinayana in the holy history of yoga adi yogi when he was shifting from uttarayana to dakshinayana he noticed the first seven sages who were in preparation for a long period it is at this time of the solstice that the first transmission of yoga began from adi yogi to the seven sages who are celebrated as the saptarishis today Yoga helps a human being to unfold his full potential. Yoga improves the quality of life which is so much needed today. Yoga can wipe the tears and bring smiles on every face. It can bring celebration and skill in everyone's life. National Yoga Day it's uh, it's an opportunity for us to introduce yoga to people who otherwise wouldn't have taken yoga up they wouldn't have considered it or they never seen it in its full-fledged light um it's an opportunity for us to bring it in front of them and uh, show them what it's about
India and the whole world set about preparing to make the first International Day of Yoga on June 21, 2015, a landmark event. The fact remains that yoga is a body of knowledge which belongs to mankind. According to Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, though yoga originated in India, it now belongs to mankind and each one of us. The International Yoga Day aims to spread the awareness about the immense benefits of yoga. It aims to spread the knowledge of yoga to every corner of the world. I feel great that as small as we are, we have entered the community of nations through an idea brought forward by India and today's Seychelles in that close India Seychelles cooperation. We are part of it, but with the whole community of nations as a whole. Meanwhile, preparations were on in full swing all across India. From Kashmir in the north to Chennai in the south, Everyone was busy preparing for the first ever International Yoga Day. Children and teachers in schools across India were gearing up to celebrate the Yoga Day. The Indian Armed Forces were planning to celebrate the Yoga Day. And freezing temperatures in Siachen, the highest base camp in the world, would not deter them either. Social media was a buzz with tweets and comments of the preparations. Veda or Bhagavad Gita ka jyan yog, karma yog or bhakti yog. Tata Maharshi Patandali ka yam niyam asan pranayam pratyar dharana dhyan samadhi rop ashtanga yog. Puri vishwa ke liye bharati rishyo ka divya bharthan. 20 karo se jada logon ko direct ko karo logon ko indirect rop se yog karwa kar ke hum is nishkash par pohunche hain. कि योग से जहां हम एक और निरोग जीवन जीते हैं वही हजारों प्रकार की बीमारियों का निराकरण कर सकते हैं इन द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ न्यू दिल्ली ऑर्गेनाइजर्स वर प्लानिंग द लार्जेस्ट एवर गैदरिंग ऑफ पीपल डूइंग योगा इन वन प्लेस दिस वुड हैपन एट द राजपथ द फेमस बुलेवार्ड दैट प्लेस होस्ट टू द रिपब्लिक डे परेड एवरी ईयर ऑन 26th जनवरी As the longest day of the year begins and as people wake up to a new dawn in their time zones, thousands of them get ready to reach for their yoga mats and a dose of health, well-being, peace and harmony.
yoga can offer you tools to experience the dimension within yourself that nothing else can really give it to you. If, you really, if one really is willing to strive, it's very much available and it's very much possible. You know, we've been wanting and working towards this to show people that yoga is not some esoteric science somewhere. It is something very real and applicable. Just like we study mathematics, science, chemistry in school, there's also a science very available and it's been fine-tuned in such a way that now every everyone, including children, including people uh, from all kinds of cultures, backgrounds, religious backgrounds, can make use of without necessarily changing their lifestyle. Thank you for inviting the United Nations in Turkey to celebrate the first ever International Day of Yoga together with METU and the Indian Embassy in Turkey. so excited that yoga can finally be taught properly in its proper precision in its proper methodology in a way that people can really know what yoga really really is Yoga is something for humanity, it's not dependent on um, whether you're male or female, whether you're fit or unfit. Yoga is not about any of that, it's about being human and exploring that.
the International Day of Yoga, I think, well, what it has as a meaning for me is I think it has the potential to spread a wider perception of yoga to both the people practicing it and the people who are just knowing of it. International Day of Yoga is really a milestone in the evolution of the world, I would say, because yoga has always been there. But that everyone in the world would recognize that one day uh, is there for all of us to have the chance to know more about yoga, to start practicing it, to uh, expand our consciousness. and I work at the White House and I want to extend uh, my warmest greetings today on behalf uh, of the President. Uh, this is an amazing, uh, amazing day with President Obama.
International Day of Yoga is a perfect day to have because it's something which can bring meaning to anyone's life. It's something which is relevant to anyone. The stage was set on the iconic boulevard Rajpath in New Delhi to bring people of diverse beliefs, nationalities and age groups to come together not only to do yoga but create a new awareness of peace and harmony. The Yoga Day celebration on Rajpath set a Guinness World Record for the largest yoga lesson at a single venue with 35,985 people performing yoga at once. It broke a previous 10-year-old record set in India in the city of Gwalior in November 2005, with people of 84 different and unique nationalities taking part in this event. A second Guinness World Record was also set for the most nationalities in a yoga lesson. The impact of the International Day of Yoga is quite huge. Have taught yoga in over 100,000 locations on that one day and the online reach has been phenomenal and many other organizations have done incredible work. Well, the entire world has not started practicing yoga yet, but at least the entire world is now generally conscious that there is a solution for all their problems within themselves. We have worked hard to divide humanity into many bits and pieces on the basis of race, religion, gender, caste, creed, nationality. Yoga can be a tremendous tool for unifying the humanity like never before, unifying from an inner experience. June 21st is no longer just the longest day in the year. It is now the International Day of Yoga, a day when people across the world come together to practice this age-old discipline to take care of their health and well-being. Seek mental peace and happiness and attain synergy between body, mind and spirit. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit word Yug, meaning to unite. Fittingly, yoga has united the modern world on this day and forever. <laughs>